Hey boys and girls, Mr. Sandval with weekly video, homework video number 11 for 8th grade science, 8th grade science here. And um, we're going to do a quick review as we're kind of finishing up this unit on contact forces, friction, energy, and next week you will have some assessments, a final model to draw, and a final test um, assessment <coughs> as well. So this is a review to get some of these thoughts spinning in your head. Make sure you're checking your Jupiter grades for quarter number two and staying caught up. And make sure that you, uh, you're you organized in your backpack, no loose papers and all that. So we've been talking about motion, and motion has a lot to do with the ideas of speed, velocity, distance divided by time, forces, pushes and pulls, um, and those relate directly to Newton's laws. Um, gravity, friction we talked about, um, energy, remember energy transfers around, there's a lot of energy around us and it's always moving and then we specifically we've talked a lot about potential energy and kinetic energy, all right, as well as some other forms like electrical energy, chemical energy, nuclear energy, stuff like that. <clears throat> okay, so in your journal, have um, your paper ready and write number one and then A, B, and C. I'm going to give you some questions or some prompts to think about, all right? Okay, here we go. So okay, so here's a really cool photo. Um, this is uh, the world's, I think it's tallest water slide, or at least America's, it's called the peak. And so for spot A, B, and C, I want you to think about potential and kinetic energy, okay? At which location A, B, or C, so on your paper you're going to write next to the one, where is the most potential energy, A, B, or C? Which spot has the most potential energy? So next to A, B, or C, you'll write potential. At which location, A, B, or C, okay, so the top, the middle, or the bottom of the water slide, <clears throat> at which spot does a person have the most kinetic energy? Okay, the most kinetic energy. Where would the person going down the tubes of the water slide have the most kinetic energy? A, B, or C? And then at which location, A, B, or C, so the top, middle, or end, which location would a person have the equal kinetic energy and potential energy? They're equal. All right. So next to each letter on your page, write down where is the most potential, where is the most kinetic, and where are they equal? All right? Okay, moving on. You can pause the video if you need to think about that. And um, underneath those answers, write a number two. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about the end of the water slide. Why do you slow down? Can you please talk about um, our, our forces, Newton's laws, all of that, um, all of those ideas that we've studied, why does a person slow down when they get to the end of the water slide, right? It kind of flattens out, and there's the water is a little bit uh, deeper, right? You hit some deeper water, but you have a long way to kind of slide and slow down, right? You don't want to just, like, go off into the cement. So, but using uh, scientific ideas, why does a person slow down at the end of the slide? Like, how is it designed to uh, maximize your slowing down and not hurt you? But talk about forces and Newton's laws. Okay, so draw a model and explain um, how you would do that. And again, use a lot of the paper. I see a lot of times in your homework videos you draw this tiny little picture on like one line and that makes it impossible to really expand your ideas and to really see what you're thinking about. So make sure on number two there, use a, you know some space. Don't be afraid to use some space. Use the back of the page as well if you need to. All right, and then number no, uh, number number three, at the bottom, and here's your next uh, picture, our final one. And again, pause the video if you need more time to process. You obviously will need more time to draw these pictures. Okay, number three. So again, let's look at the end of the water slide. Now, at the end of the water slide, a person has a lot of kinetic energy, right? They're going really fast. And in this picture, there's kind of a hint, okay? But where does all the kinetic energy in the person go, right? The person's moving very fast, and then they stop. Where did all of their energy go? Right. Remember, energy has to transfer. It has to move around to places. Um, one form of energy can turn into another form of energy. Right. Like um, when we were using that example of a guitar player, they physically there's mechanical 
energy in the strings moving, but it sends an electrical signal to the amp, and then the amp takes the electrical signal, the electrical energy, and turns it into sound, or vi actual mechanical vibrations and sound energy. So energy is always changing. So in this photo, and again, I chose this one specifically for reason, for reason, because there's a kind of some it's kind of hint, a big hint there. Where does all the kinetic energy of the person? They're moving really fast, and then, boom, they hit the bottom. Tell me what their energy transfers into. Where does it go? All right. Take your time. Think about this. Draw a good model, a good explanation at the bottom. All right. We're going to talk about this in class for sure. We will think about it and discuss it, okay? All right. So that's your homework video for this week. Um, quick review. And... Oh, that's from Halloween, which is no longer here. Oh, this is the one I wanted. Maybe take some time today or tomorrow. Take two minutes, three minutes, five minutes for yourself and just meditate. It won't kill you. It's okay. All right. Have a good day. See you in class. Bye.